The next change to the bus scheme is the eligibility of heat batteries for a £2,500 grant. There are some caveats of course, they have to be capable of handling the space heating and hot water demand for the property. This isn't rolling out right now, MCS first has to work out what the product and installation standards are before they're going to be eligible. But Martin, first of all, what is a heat battery and how do these actually work? Well the clue is in the name really, it's a heat battery, so it's a heat store and the advantage of the materials that are in here is that they tend to be just over the third of the size they would be if they stored hot water. So again, they're useful, great tool to expand the armory of offerings to clients. And in certain aspects, they're, they're very good. And so you would heat it up using electricity or a heat pump. The material inside would then retain that heat and then you'd use that for the hot water and the heating of Correct. the property. So what situations, what types of properties would we be installing and recommending heat batteries in? Probably ones that are very tight on space. So you could sit this little boy beneath the stairs and it would do your heating and hot water. So it's very compact and you can amalgamate it with your PV so that you can generate electricity during the day, produce your heating and hot water, charge it overnight on cheap electricity. It's a very flexible product, but again, it's not a cure-all for everything. Okay, so on that note then, when wouldn't you recommend a heat battery? When the demands are too high, then it becomes quite inefficient because then you'd have to end up using electricity at full peak rate yeah. or we do have them with an air source heat pump outside and then we use them because the fact we need a cylinder for hot water so these are so much smaller than a hot water cylinder so it's a blended approach where the heat pump would do the heating this would just do the hot water and price wise if we're going to compare it to a hot water cylinder both upfront cost and then the cost to run it running cost probably pretty similar but there is a, a higher upfront cost because of the investment that people like sunamp have put into developing the product but i think that's why the bus grants coming along to give clients support for the use of heat batteries because then that brings it back down to a much more reasonable sum. We do install quite a few. We were one of the very first installers for Sunamp. So for certain reasons, they're extremely good. And 